turtles in time. You want to call it turtles in time, motherfucker? I, I do want to call yeah. it turtles in time. It's Shredder. It's Shredder's revenge because I'm a child of the '90s. Dude. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. And then joined every week by Jordan Swag and Pedro Mateus, and you at home helping us form the credits. Nope. There, nope. <laughs> I didn't add the, the horse button yet. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? What time is it? Where, wh- who am I? Fuck. You know what? We're, we're going to do this. It's somewhere in here. Where are you at, Voltron? Help me, somewhere Voltron. Somewhere in time. Ah. Vulcane. <laughs> Vulcane. Vulcane. Cochron. Gentlemen, it's yes. been a fun week. We managed to do that. I really want to add. See, the thing that's really driving me up the wall right now is I sit down when I cut everything on. It's like, there's a button you need to add. I'm like, nope, looks good. <laughs> Next week, we'll probably have another incident of that. So I was reminded of something. Now, you might have played around. If you use Open Broadcaster, if you're on Linux, you probably do for streaming. I don't know if you're somebody who streams or if you do, you know, game capture or anything to that effect. You might be familiar with an application called um, Stream Effects. It lets you do some extra things in OBS that exposes some things that aren't just straight up exposed in regular Open Broadcaster. And one thing I've always noticed is when I'm compiling stream effects is I don't have access to NVIDIA's denoising, which is like, oh man, and uh, like background removal. Like, didn't NVIDIA have a Linux SDK? And I'm like, yeah, like right around the 20 series somewhere in there. And I went looking for it. That thing is still invite only, like two years after being <clears throat> made public. Like I had forgotten about it. It had been so long. I'm like, this is still a thing, and you still go there, and you can log in with your developer account and apply for access, which I did again. Yeah, I think, you got to email Aaron and I get them to poke the guys and check the mailbox, <laughs> right? I'm like, what, what is the strategy here? Um, just wait it out and hope people forget about it? Maybe. Who knows? But I mean, it was part of the, you remember like the NVIDIA broadcast thing that they have for Windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, they were, they were really uh, pushing like shadow play and stuff, right? Yeah. The, and like the denoiser are in, you mm. know, the NVIDIA. R- R- RTX audio and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. So, I mean, this has been that long ago and um, yeah, it's, it's still in that holding pattern, I guess. Maybe they forgot that they did it for Linux and, or maybe they just never really <laughs> get around to it. Or maybe it's in such a sad state. They don't want to play with it. NVIDIA, call me. I'd like to get that up and working. And just to take a moment, we talked a lot about it in the pre-pre super shows and but to pour, pour one, one out. out. Yeah. For uh Rocky. Amazing and Rocky. How sweet the cocky. Red hat uh <laughs> losing its damn mind. And I think everybody here, the three of us, we're we're all fans of um Yeah, I, I'm like, I'm, the, I'm the big red hat apologist here and right? uh that's a tough like, one, no. isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm reading through this and I'm like, is 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 there some silver lining? Is there is there some? no? There no. isn't. There isn't. They're just being scumbags. Very hard to justify this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's really easy to justify it. Oh I yeah, don't, money. We don't, we don't, we don't money like the for justification. Red yeah. <laughs> that happened. Something we talked about in the after show last week that I thought people might be interested in, especially since we spent so much time during a pre-show learning about your microwave catching on fire and um yes you did go shopping for one and I, you didn't get the fancy one with the no. automatic parking and uh, no GPS. Don't, don't 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 do that those are the those are the bullshit microwaves that break after like eight months what you want to get is the plain jane white plastic one that will turn into a yellow microwave with time but mm-hmm. right now right now it is, it is pristine virgin white it is it was the, it was the cheapest one we were checking all the reviews at best buy and it's like it's like breaks after year, breaks after year, breaks out of year after year. The the low the low key just like basic kitchen ones like yeah, this is a great microwave. Mm-hmm. So that, that here's that's all I want to do though. I want uh, we need to uh, we need to go find an, a yellowed one, uh, one that's been aged. We need to take that bitch apart and retro bright it. Dr- dry aged, <laughs> dry aged microwaves. We we need to start a microwave restoration. <laughs> Can, oh, can, can can we do it with like old uh, old Nintendo hardware too? Like D, D- yellow your Game sure. Boy. I mean, I, last time I looked around for uh, microwaves, it came to the same reason that I don't own a um, laser cutter. Is uh, they you can get microwaves now with a camera built into them. 
Mm, yeah. You can, yeah. You can you can monitor your turkey or whatever. You can monitor. You can take food photos of like cooking things and stuff to that effect. I'm like, no, because then I'm just going to be putting things in there like figurines to watch them yeah, melt. Yeah, no, that, 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 that's how you end up melting like little army men. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, that now to be fair, that'll probably make great YouTube content. Like oh, people yeah. will yeah, fucking that, watch that, that shit. There's going to be that channel. <laughs> Will yeah, instead of will it blend, will it melt? <laughs> I don't know, man. Pedro has uh what did you post a screenshot of? What what game were you playing this week? I saw you posted a screenshot in Discord of some video game with something written under it, pro- probably words. <laughs> uh I finished uh forty K Inquisitor Martyr. Which one's that? Is that like first uh, person shooter? No, it's the um Diablo like. Oh. It is effectively like uh Path of Exile, one. but with a 40k skin. So, yeah, it is. It, it's very nice. I very much enjoyed it. Took me about 40 hours to beat, but I beat the main campaign and all of the DLC campaigns. It, it, it does that thing with the randomly generated missions. So it has theoretically infinite content, but I already got the achievement of doing all of the different kinds of missions. So, <laughs> mm. no. <laughs> Uh, maybe they'll do a follow-up sequel like Ogre with a shotgun. Um, what was the game we played on Thursday? Jordan? Myth Force. Yeah, we we tried that out. That that was in uh, that was in Epic Early Access for I think several years now, and or or at least at least it's been a very very long year since that got announced. And yeah, I know I, I know I've been excited to try that out. So uh, they had a demo out for the next fest that had uh, online multiplayer, which is mm-hmm. great. Love to see that. Work. And uh, yeah, it worked out of the box. And yeah, it's. It's a little lackluster, honestly. I was a little... kind of expecting more. Though. We had some thoughts on it. If you want to see our playthrough for it, uh, look mm-hmm. at at our YouTube Uncut channel. There's a good 15 minute segment of the we knew what we were doing. Uh, Mir also we, we, joined us. We had we had figured it out. Yes. Yeah. The the first run was like what? What's going? Then we just instigate. <laughs> we just squad wiped. Oh yeah, it was like everyone died. It's like Jordan, kill all the monsters. I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. You fuck. did a good job, man. You stayed a lot much longer. I, than yeah, I was because of, yeah, because it's like survive till the end of the 20 seconds. It's mm-hmm. like, all right, I can do that. Yeah, and then and, it's like now actually kill all the guys. Yeah. I'm like, well, fuck you then. Where exactly. Was, like, like I was with you like, on that. I was with yeah. you on that because I'm like, why you even make me do deal, that, man? What the hell? Yeah. <sighs> Something uh, that will never alter the deal on us is our horse. That's because the horse is in a constant state of, like, flux. It can't make up its goddamn mind. It's the steam. Linux. Update of, of the week. week. It's that checking. Yeah, it's get, it's get diff checking. Oh, okay. man, I got too many buttons. Don't worry, we're coming back. <laughs> Yeah, no, Proton Experimental, it's the new one. Uh, it comes with all of the changes uh, from 802, which is the current stable one. But nothing terribly exciting. Um, How dare you? There's, this is full of excitement and riveting eh, tale. I mean, uh, the new EA, not Origin uh, application, what do they call it? EA Desktop. Now uh, it launches reliably after, even after updates, so that that's a positive. Gabe Newell's favorite video game, um, Final Fantasy XIV, <laughs> uh, finally has a working scroll bar in the launcher, so there's Yay. that. And uh, with The Witcher 3, uh, it was showing the taskbar if you all tabbed on XFC at certain resolutions. That's fixed now, too. So, eh. <laughs> yeah, we, got, we, got so we got some more NV, uh, NV API uh, enablement as well. Um, yeah, one of the things that we're talking about, if you happen to have everything set on dark mode like a normal person, uh, finding what has changed is a way more difficult. It's it what? is. I, I usually go to like the compare revisions page, and then I'm like, "What? What was the last revision? And what's this one?" And then I read the diff, because yeah, this wall of text is not very useful in telling me what has changed between these previous versions, right? Uh, I mean, if you squint, you can see what's old, but yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's about as far as we can go with it. Yeah, a couple of uh, new games with NV API added, and um, here's one of the things I want to talk about. I think they've done just looking at Proton Experimental along with Proton 8, they've done a reasonably well job of migrating, um, mitigating the uh, regression hell mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. is just part of this. This will always be a problem. There's really no way to avoid it, is there? Yeah, it's, it's the moving although, target that is Windows. D- yeah, although with the Proton 8 specifically, since it now requires the new uh, DXVK and VKD3D, which comes with 
newer hardware requirements. You need a graphics card. If it's NVIDIA, it needs to support 515 minimum. And if it's uh, AMD or Intel, it needs to support Mesa 22 minimum. So uh, that cuts out a lot of the legacy stuff, which is more likely to cause compatibility issues. So yeah, there's a smaller pool of hardware to work with, which helps. <laughs> I thought we'd be um, two Valve and uh, Code Weavers uh, credit. They, I thought we'd be in worse shape than we are. And currently, right now, there's very few titles that you have to go. Okay, this own is only going to work with this version of Proton. There, there is there, but there, like, and again, too, this is probably to like Valve and Co- Code Weavers credits is that like there's a shit ton of skunk works going on on the back end that is making mm-hmm. this happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like we're 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 being we're being isolated from it, but like. Good, good job, guys. Like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Indeed. So, there's a new Next Fest, and this has turned into like what just like strangely something I look forward to. When it first came out, it was first announced, and I'm like, eh, all right, not that big a deal. But not only does in Steam Next Fest, what does it do? It brings back the idea of having game demos. Huge fan of that. That's something that just kind of disappeared over the years, and it happened at such a gradual rate. We just forgot about them, like demos. I remember that because they they used to come on CDs for right. magazines, right? No, who right. buys magazines you, anymore? Shareware and things like that. But it also gives us a look at what's coming down those steamy pipes. That makes me very happy. This one's going to be closed. If you're listening to this on Monday or Tuesday, it's already over. But if you're listening live or tomorrow, June nineteenth through June twenty sixth, uh, here it is. Play the demos. Watch the live streams. Wish list the games that you want. And, you know, I sorted through a bunch of these just to find the ones that were going to be Linux native. I kind of want to show this off. So if we go to platform, Mm -hmm. there are uh, 171 Mac OS titles and 123 Steam OS Linux titles. That ratio is a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. If we're just Mm -hmm. looking at everything overall but the second you get into like things like i don't know things you might want to play right so Mm -hmm. how many people can play at one time we like co-op right yep so let's just say multiplayer i'm a multiplayer games hmm 16 to 10 that's a lot smaller Mm -hmm. so linux native is it dead is what i'm trying to get at or is we still got some life left in this I I I, th- I think we do. I think like the 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 Steam Deck has been sort of like the the much needed like breath of life into it. But I don't think it's going to be a thing for like um, AAA. Like in, in indie games are definitely going to want to like have um, have native versions. But like we we we've, we've seen like what's going on with Square and Capcom and whatever. They're just like they they're, they're happy to cut Code Weavers a check and be like, hey, get our shit working. So, Pedro, uh, any thoughts? Uh, I'm just thinking um, <laughs> because Apple is doing their own um, thing with the hardware and they still get more game support on Steam than Linux. Even when there's the deck, it's already been out for over a year now. It makes me a little sad. I'm not going to lie. It makes me a little sad. <laughs> there's still There's still a lot of anti-Linux FUD out there, though, like. You still see like the same fucking recycled talking points in lay people talking about yes. Linux from like 15 years ago. And it's like, no, no, it's not, it's not that anymore. Well, but, not even like, that. I mean, it's yeah. Linux, uh, anti Linux fanfic type stuff. Like there was a post yeah, on the yeah. PC Master Race a couple of weeks ago. I was like, yeah, I would use Linux, but 80% of the games I play don't work under uh, Proton. And, and to PC Master Race's credit, 100% of everyone, they're just called bullshit on that. Mm-hmm. They're like, what do you, what two e games do you play with? Um, EAC, yeah. EAC or uh, Battle Eye. No, he's, he's a big and Fortnite player. Those, and he's a big Destiny most player. Of, he only plays like, those two. <laughs> the most popular ones of those, uh, except for I don't know, Paladins and literally every other game from that particular company, because they just refuse to do it. Uh, but yeah, no, you're basically dependent on the developers not complete, not being completely bass backwards on their Linux views. <laughs> but and, it's but, it's a numbers uh, game. It's about and this is something yeah. that the Steam Deck has brought to us is okay. It would help. It would go a long way, Valve, if you just put out some like hard numbers on many of these damn things you sold. 
Yeah, that would require Valve actually r- disclosing I, the I numbers. Well, that, 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 that's that's the, that's the double edged sword though, because like, what if the numbers aren't good? <laughs> what if they're like, oh, no one fucking wants this shit. Well, I mean, even if you're a indie developer and you're looking at it, like, but maybe the, the number of uh, Steam decks that have been sold aren't triple A level, whatever you know, yeah. but betting the business on it. But you're like, oh shit, there's you know. Oh no, there's there, there's there's, def- there's definitely a thousand people out there with potential customers. Like, mm, okay, and like, and people they, people seem to be very excited about like the the small portable form factor computers. So like, mm-hmm. more catering mm-hmm. to that is gonna. And even among that, that, you know, something I thought about with like the Steam Deck when it was first released is like we're we're eventually people are going to try to bring the hater rate on it, and they did, and it kind of bounced off. Even after that, we've seen things from ASUS and there mm-hmm. people are like it's not a Steam Deck. And they're right. Yeah. It's not. You don't get that level of integration that you get when it comes from the store itself. The well, the, the, the the fucking skunk works. That's what I was talking about, right? Mm-hmm. Like there there is a ton of shit happening behind the scenes to make the Steam Deck as like friction free as possible. That Asus doesn't have the ability to do this. Especially not if they're based their software is based on something they don't control, i.e. Well, Microsoft. They, they can just go to developer.steam.com and download the oh wait, you can't do that quite yet. Well, <laughs> well, unfortunately. <laughs> no. Come on, Valve. Everyone's not even just Asus or um Ioneo or one G P D or whatever. Or yeah. yeah. Or uh, desktop image. I mean, did you okay, honestly, did you think a year people, later a year later we would, we would be having this conversation, Pedro? Yeah. That we're like, <laughs> well, we, we still can't download that because spin the wheel of bugger bugger reasons? Because that's all the wheel yeah. says right now. It's just reasons. Oh yeah, no, you can use uh all of ISO, which doesn't boot on half the machines you actually try to boot it on. Didn't Valve, come on, please. Steam OS 3, just listen. You can do you it. You know what, Pedro? I'll give you another spin. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, guys, we're, we are uh, we're, we are rebasing Steam OS on Red Hat, so we're going to need everyone to subscribe to the Red Hat contributor license. And... Listen, I'll give you a student discount, too. Yeah. <laughs> if you're okay. a developer, you can get it for free, right? Yeah, you, you, yeah. you can get the yeah. for, you okay. can get Ralph for free. For like, or if you know anybody who works at Red Hat, and be like, Psst. <laughs> hey man, yes. you got, you got any yeah. more of that uh, Red Hat Linux? Red Hat I too have been offered street corner Red Hat in the back alley more than once. From yeah, but it, it's usually cut with some Suze though, so you don't want that. You're gonna like fucking, you're gonna kill yourself. Straight from man. the source. Uh, speaking of Steam Next Fest, I went through and I looked for you know a couple of games that were kind of in our wheelhouse, and so we're gonna talk about a couple of new ones, something to look forward to down the road, and we're gonna start off with what I think everyone wanted: Skate Burb actually be yes yes hard hard agree and you know that that's tony hop ollie frog toad skater Mm -hmm. and i downloaded the go ahead and grab the demo play it while you can you still got a couple of days this is 100 percent um about 11 times more fun than skateboard because it is those arcade tony hawk controls where you're just having fun you're having a good time bouncing around chaining combos grinding on things giggity and bonus point Ollie Frog makes the Goku noise when he falls. <laughs> it's adorable. Sweet. Yep. Yeah, no, this yeah, is... No, uh, I, I, go on, go on. I, I, I was just going to say, I'm very much looking forward to, because, yes, Skate Burb might not have been what people wanted, but it enjoyed a very moderate level of success, and I, I, I look forward to more games coming out, uh, attempting to ride those coattails, very much so. Yeah, I, I I think definitely, especially because uh, the the I, I think the 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 general sense is like yeah we wanted less simulation in our in our cute bird skateboarding game. <laughs> so coming back to coming back to some like Tony Hawk style mechanics, I, I uh, tried this on the Steam Deck and yeah no it's it's great. I am I'm looking forward to this. It it like it it all came back to me. I had like the the fucking memory, just like oh I remember how to do all these tricks now. I Can am... my, do do my fingers? Nope. <laughs> gotta re- gotta get those back up to speed. Lads, but, uh, I never played Tony Hawk, but I played the skate park. I'm like, yeah, it's like, it's sure. And then the only thing that went in my head when I first took off on the board on this was like, we. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then it was just chaos from there on out. So good to see that. The more the merrier. But let's switch from cute frogs to boomer shooters because I thought about Pedro when I saw this pop up. Speaking, um, speaking of cute frogs, Pedro. <laughs> yes, uh, if you want uh, not a cute frog but to shoot, 
things uh, on a 3D attempting to be a boomer shooter. And I'm trying, I know that it's called Dem Demonic Supremacy, but I'm trying to read that on that little uh, image blurb that they have D on Demonic? the right side of the page. Hang That's on, very hard to like read. The uh, rate of this video is pretty damn retro, though. It is. Yeah, the, yeah. the bit rate is bad, and the like motion blur is bad. The Z. radial, <laughs> the radial blur is bad. Just about everything that they're showing is bad, and I I had to read the blur because Hardcore. you know. It's an old school 3D shooter with a certain nostalgic flavor and few gamer friendly features. Okay, can we tone down the blurriness though? I almost got a headache just by trying to demo on this thing. Too gamer can we friendly. not? <laughs> yeah, I, I think we need to be gamer hostile. <laughs> and just actively hostile towards people's eyes at this point. <laughs> Get good, scrub. <laughs> uh. I don't know. Uh, I downloaded it, played around, and uh, it, it's got the chuggies on uh, old thread booper. With does, the, uh, does it does it look like that? <laughs> Thirty six. Does it look like that? You know what? You know what? Here's the thing: if if it looked like a poorly encoded video, I like give it bonus points. Okay, it's like okay, <laughs> somebody went out of their way to do that, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, it's somebody who just got done playing something that was modeled after an '80s cartoon. Yeah, all right. Style. Yeah. They'd get a style point if they did that. No, I mean it was like super sharp. And it was at 2160p. I dialed it down to 1080p and 1440. I'm like, this doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Uh, um, it did remind me of like trying to play Quake at 800 by 600 in software render mode. As far as the <laughs> performance, before you know, before I get my first Voodoo card, it, it's it's uh, maybe the Windows. Maybe it runs great under a uh, Proton, but uh, I didn't try it. I tried the uh, native version and, and yeah, it needs some love. <laughs> It, it, and the motion blur gets really, really bad when it starts to chug, and then everything is blurry. Stop that. Seriously, just fucking stop. Okay, okay, all right, well, just, just calm down, calm down. Maybe you weren't a PC gamer back in the 90s playing the uh, original boomer shooters. Maybe instead, you had a PlayStation 1, <laughs> and you were playing some shit that looked like this. This is Motor Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Freestyle sports roguelike horde shooter that combines high octane and visceral combat with fluid movement and trick mechanic. It, listen, that this this was enough for me to look in a Santa outfit and you get chainsaws for wheels. You, yeah, you're kind of selling me with a trailer. You can do uh, fancy, you know, BMX backflips and things like that. I downloaded it. Oh man, remember BMX? Did Did you ever get into BMX? Uh, no, oh yeah, I played Dave Mira Freestyler a lot. Okay, we, <laughs> no, no, I meant did, did you yeah, ever like get bikes. on a bicycle? Yeah, and, and, had, like, and fucking, uh... no, I had a mountain bike and I oh, went oh, there, tree there, dodging there are magic in the cards. Woods. <laughs> there, there are straight up Magic the Gathering cards in Dude, this. All right, I, I'm I, uh, I'm a okay. little on board now. It's, it's got a little bit of everything, man. It, it controls like PS One uh, Doom on a like uh the controls are bad man. controls uh <laughs> like you know what they're perfectly put they work they're just bad it, they right, controls right. a lot like um motocross madness and the uh like the arena style shooter is very painkillery so yeah it's motocross yeah. madness meets painkiller you like run Dave, around Dave and you gotta Mira slow down to cigarette. take aim at the <laughs> things and you gotta use your uh, analog stick to take aim where you go it's it's a lot to do it's like trying to give three right. hand jobs at one time man right because because you have to like do tricks and also kill shit and right. yeah mm -hmm. so split attention I, I i see how this could become very overly complicated very quickly it does recommend using a controller which you know fair a 1050 fair. so a, what uh nvidia 4060 ti yeah. equivalent yeah yeah something like that yeah it's about the same as 1050 uh <laughs> Isn't that the other way around? <laughs> well, I mean, it was a joke, but I mean, we can analyze it if you want. Let's not. <laughs> let's let's drive piles of cars into other piles of cars instead. Oh, I wanted to like this. We might Stunt try in the after shows and still. Stunt Derby. Yeah. So this is a uh, physics based racer um, with online multiplayer. It, it's got the thing. So good, good, good for I you. Show everybody like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chaos. Yeah. The, 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 the trailer shows like 500,000 fucking cars going off a ramp. I'm like, OK, you have you have my attention. All right. Um, yeah. But you can drive into swarms of boxes with your friends. No, we need a giant wheel of cheese to chase down the hill. Oh yeah, They're, they got they got loop de loops. This looks like it could be like a fun fuck around driving simulator, but it also looks like it could just be complete and utter shit. 
I don't know. And the, the camera does look a bit janky. I wish they'd loosen up just how uh, it focuses on the back of the car and doesn't let go at all. That, that needs, but I, I like the jank overall and the just the mayhem and the madness. Well, that's collision. Of, We've established we, this. Yes. <laughs> I like that. I, I like that very much. <laughs> It's we basically it fall guys with cars. This Low is, poly is drive them. It works on the, Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look, look at that. Works on the heck. <laughs> Play versus bot. You know what? If you notice a spike in your players, that'll be us this afternoon. That, 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 that is a good pause, by the way. Just as he gets see boned I'm like, we'll be right back. <laughs> uh, what do we need? Uh, Just a Linux 64 bit broadband, 100 megs of space. I mean, it is small. OpenGL. Yeah. All right, yeah. I popped it in, played around for a minute, but like forever alone mode, I can already tell you it's sad. So maybe maybe the fun kicks in. VTAC will kick in. Pixelated VTAC will kick in. <laughs> yo, when we get some people <laughs> to play around. That's everything I could dig out of Steam Next Fest, but we do have one game update for you yeah. this week, and it's a game we all really liked. Yeah, we it's a game yeah. we played through live on stream. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles turtles in time you want to call it turtles in time motherfucker i, I do want to call it turtles in time it's shredder it's shredder's revenge because i'm a <laughs> child of the 90s damn it and that was the that was the turtles game at the time yeah uh shredder's revenge we played through it uh they have a new dlc it adds uh miyamoto uh, usagi who crossed over in tmnt in the 2003 cartoon when they did like a, a alternate universe sliders type season which was actually pretty fun i watched that show back in the day um but the, the other the other thing they added, which I think is like the big feature is as if you're watching the video version, you Dancing? can change the colors of oh. the fucking turtles so that they all don't look the goddamn same anymore. Because that was that was the big problem is the character blindness, especially when you got six people on six the screen. People chaos, though, man. Like, yeah. And six people and four of them are the same green sprite. <laughs> yes. Yeah, good. Good. good <laughs> luck. Like, oh, yeah, they have different color headbands. Yeah. Good luck figuring out what the fuck's going on when there's like what? tons of that, flash that, and shit. that was yeah. easy to pick out like what are you talking about look at that look look how seamless that looks that Hang yeah, on. These... it's coming up yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh they're, they're trying to hide it from us like yes. look this this piece yes yeah no e yeah easy no pick that, that's totally <laughs> easy to pick uh, yeah, it's totally not uh <laughs> a, a giant mess of pixels but new dlc is good uh dotimo has been doing a fantastic job with these side-scrolling beat-em-ups uh, River City Girls, this, um, they did, they did, um, Streets of Rage as well. Um, yeah. Streets of Rage 4. So they've, they've, they've been really killing it on that. Um, more yeah. turtles is good. It, it, yeah. More turtles. Yeah. I'm down with it. I went to, um, like, okay, this is going to be DLC. I assume it's going to be paid DLC, but I also yep. assume if you want me to put something on a wish list, you're going to take the time to give me a price, which you have yet to provide. Yeah, I ho I hope it's not like fifteen dollars. I hope it's probably like I hope it's like eight. Eight's probably eight. Eight to ten is about the cap. What I'd pay for that for a new character, some color new, changes, and and, and, and a, a new few mode. levels. For I mean to support the devs for like a oh, yeah, good no, quality. I'm all, I'm all for mm -hmm. paid, but yeah, yeah if it's yeah. like fifteen bucks, I, I yeah, fifteen fifteen bucks is a little steep. Ten ten is kind of where because you got to keep I'm it up to the lens for like the different type of players. We'll play through that exactly once. Mm -hmm. And probably never touch it again but we'll have a good time <laughs> yeah yeah we're dead trying to unlock all the achievements and get all the pizza points pizza points and all, all the all the combos yeah it's like get through all the levels without taking damage yeah fuck that noise no <laughs> i'm sure somebody's out there doing it man but uh yeah we're done taking damage for this segment coming up next intel is gonna damage themselves by discontinuing some video cards and Ryan C. Gordon is gonna plunge a dagger into the heart of we didn't SDL2. Call it the Forever Edition. Well, we're not exactly running any middleware, but if we were, it'll probably be SDL3. Don't you worry, we're gonna be talking about that in a second. First, we need to, um, well, chill ourselves, basically. Yeah, we're, it, it sounds I like mean, you're like, going to say we need to release a new of it. Wait, no, we're not going to cancel the video. <laughs> no, no, we're, 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 we're not. But, you know, you know, we're, we're, we're like hard cookies and, you know, you need to get in the middle of us. You need to be that hard ooey cookies. center. What type of hard cookies? The man. fuck eats hard cookies? No one. That's why you got to dip them in milk. But why are they, why aren't they like that shape then? I, I'm making a I shape that's not a cookie. I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't see your hands off the screen. <laughs> Candy bars, man. Would that make more sense? Like That's what a snickerdoodle is. That's made up word. That's yeah. It's not, all <laughs> fucking words are made up, man. Patreon.com/slash/LinuxGameCast. I could make a dicker doodle pun, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm above that. 
Sign up, get into our Discord channel, talk to us the rest of the week, because we're here, we're answering questions, we're bullshitting about the latest developments of Rocky Linux and Red Hat and crap like that. And things always... not even remotely related. Uh, today not, I not found even. out that uh, Jim Henson's uh, green yeah, car the, was used in a bank mobile. robbery. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fucking Kermit mobile, right? You learn some stuff. Get into our Discord, you can get into it uh, by subbing to us on Patreon, patreon.com slash linuxgamecast or Twitch, twitch.tv slash Linux Game Pass. You just gotta link your respective accounts to the Discord and the bot will do the rest. And if the breaks, well, go talk to Discord support. IRC is uh, down, let us know. Hey, speaking yes, of Twitch, we, right quick. We, we got two new people. We want to need to thank uh, yes, Donem, 32 month resub and Norse North Ranger. Ranger for 13 months. Yes, 31 months, I believe. Yeah, so thanks a lot for that. Uh, yeah, so Patreon, you get access to the Discord channel. We RSVP to game streams. We did some uh, Myth Force demo on Thursday. Ven's doing Trackmania on Tuesdays and Fridays. There's always going to be stuff that we're looking for players for. If you want to play some games with us, get in our Discord and RSVP to the events when Got they come up. Got something I'm going to play around with and try. We've uh, had access to it for a while on Patreon is uh, video. Oh, the, the Patreon-only streams? Where, well, not even Patreon-only streams, but we can uh, host video on Patreon directly. Mm, okay. So I've been looking for a way to, because even with our Live and Uncut, which we have no monetization even, but it's one of those things we don't have enough people following us to put ads or it, mm -hmm. it puts ads on it. We have no control over it. Yeah, we don't have anyone to right? <laughs> and so I'm thinking about what I'm going to try to do is like, you know, we'll still put like the YouTube. I'm, I'm going to do like a little test run is uh, I'll put the Linux Teamcast episode of uh, that on Patreon along with everything else. Nothing's going away. See if you like if you want to watch it on Patreon without advertisements. But I also mm. want to see what the video quality is, too. So it's going to be a little test. Right. Well, if you, if, you, if you want to get into that, sign up to our Patreon. We got a store as well. If you want to support us that way, store.linuxgamecast.com. We got merch. We got shirts. We got bags. We got bag of shirts. We got bags of shirts. We got hoodies full of bags. We got stickers. stickers, stickers full of shirts. You you pull the back of them off, and a bunch of shirts just come out. I don't know how they did it. We hired a time lord for our product person, and they did it for us. Uh, we got wish zones as well. If you head on over to linuxgamecast.com, put your mouse over the support button. I have one. Ven has one. Jill has one. Pedro has one. And you can uh, I don't know buy stuff and send us little notes that we have to read on the air and. Uh, oh, yeah, it doesn't have to be a Amazon wish list either. You can do like um, Bike Me, aka Jonas, did for me mm -hmm. this week. Uh, bought me Signalist off of Steam. Thank what you very much. It was. Hey, wait a minute. Somebody bought you a game that was on your wish list? Yes. <laughs> they can do that? Not everyone does what uh, <laughs> right? one very kind, but. Uh... <laughs> no, normally people just buy me games that I don't want. That's. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's uh, Foxy's strategy. It's like, I like this game, so I'm going to buy it for you. Like, okay, thank you, Foxy. Appreciate I'll, I'll, it. I'll get, but, I'll get through uh, Death Stranding and Red Dead Reve Redemption 2 eventually, I guess. Yeah, yeah. keep coming back to RDR2. <laughs> like, I'm going to make... This has to be fun. If there, everyone says this game's fun, I'm like, I'm sure... Uh, like my, 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 I think my strategy for, for Death Stranding is I have it on the Steam Deck. I can poke at it. Yeah. It's going to be like a 900-hour fucking mm -hmm. game. But yes. I can, but like, at least, at least this way I can like pick it up, put it down or whatever. Right. <sighs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, buy us, if you buy Ven some stuff off of his list, you get your name in lights behind him. That's on the fuck wall. Over and they there. blink for our fine upstanding cannibals, helping us out, putting stuff in the studio. Things for testing, things for making the show better, and things for generally just getting up to wacky nonsense under Linux with. We do appreciate that. Stick around. You get a little bonus part in the credits where we can be like, haha, you're fiscally irresponsible, plus you get the notes and all the other fun things. Yeah. But we thank you for your support, keeping us nice and I well suppose we can mention that, but that just subscribe. Thank you. That thank butt. You. <laughs> yeah. Dead butt. You're, you're, Not you're, you're, your butt is butt, dead. Or butt butt. For your support. I mean, I mean, you're 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 always butt butt in Steam. I have you every time you go into a game, it's like butt butt is playing. Flying spaghetti monster, give me patience not to mute these two motherfuckers. Um, so I can finish the sentence. Never. Damn it. All right. Well, something that got muted earlier this week. Intel has officially discontinued the ARC A770 16 gig. This is where you need to finish the sentence. <laughs> Limited <laughs> edition. Because some outlets are like, hmm, let's get some clicky baity stuff. Pedro dropped this. Well, you dropped the PC per mm -hmm. um, story, which left out that part in the title. That's why yes. they're not on the show with that title. <laughs> Intel has announced it will discontinue the RK770. Okay, so I guess it was really a limited edition. 
Ah. They did. They did call it a limited edition. Yes. <laughs> so, and if you don't know, the 770 LE was the first one out of the gate. AV1, 16 gigajoules of RAM on it, and uh, this, this doesn't. Okay, they're going to continue making the silicon board. So, if you are a add-in board partner, both of them, um, Acer and um, Runner, Photon, or Gunnir, Gunnir, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the, the so, Chinese one. If you're thinking about, uh, it might have shaken your confidence just a little bit. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> they're not making the flagship. How often is it? Because you, you kind of assume like the you know a founder's edition or a limited edition, no matter whatever you want to call it, is the one that's never going to go anywhere. Like traditionally with like uh, AMD. Okay, maybe AMD is a bad example. AMD doesn't keep like F- <laughs> yeah, AMD <laughs> does like one push of their frontier edition cards and that's it no Mm. more (laughs) so this thing has hung out for a little while and we still have the acer one you can get the acer one right now on amazon for like uh 330 yeah it's it's i mean it it, it's sad to see that uh the the mainline ones are going out of production because it was a surprisingly stalwart dart of course we were talking about like the benchmarks comparing the uh the rx 7600 and like oh look look who's swinging look who's keeping up with the big boys it's uh, been kind of a weird one man yeah uh, especially with the 770 kind of getting a second breath after a uh, stay tuned uh, the recent releases from both nvidia and amd being <laughs> less than performant for the price Le- yeah, less than stellar <laughs> one of the things i don't like this just came out as a, a little bit of information in a pdf just a product change notification and normally when Intel does something like this, there's like six months lead time to it. Mm. You'll get a notification and it's like half a year later, then it's going to be discontinued. This was like, by the way, tomorrow, this doesn't exist anymore, mm-hmm. which was kind of surprising to see. I don't know. My, my yeah, only issue was right, that- right at the point where people were actually going, oh, Intel cards are, you know, Mm-hmm. they're actually holding up and now that they fixed the drivers on windows they're actually usable intel goes yeah we're not gonna make that one for ourselves anymore okay in all fairness we were talking about this i was talking about this with um ogi last night after we we're doing some track mania a uh, cup of the not day racing the he's like the drivers are getting a lot better and i'm like yes they're making quantum leaps but you know you gotta remember the intel drivers started from a state of don't fucking work <laughs> so it, it, it DirectX 12 worked. That was it. <laughs> Only DirectX 12 well, worked. And w- w- once they decided to not roll their own shit and just use D9VK, things mm-hmm. started working a little better on the legacy side too. A lot better. Here's one thing I want from you, Intel. Though, uh, quit being Intel for just a minute because I, I know you got Ryan Trout and I know you got Tom, formerly of Nvidia. They're both probably chopping at the bits, screaming at some C level above them, going, "We need to do something other than traditional radio silence from Intel." Mm. Yeah, because like, yeah, maybe maybe this is uh, this is a lead up to like, oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna launch the eight the B seven seventy for Battle Mage, right? Like, or whatever. well, if you're thinking about it, like, maybe you were like, okay, you know what, I'm, I, the we're gonna talk about the forty sixty or the seventy. Oh my god, I just, I just I just had a fucking moment. Archmage, Battle Mage, Celestial Druid, A B C D. That's their fucking model name. Oh, that's no. their model scheme. Yeah, that just that yeah, just clicked. They, they said that right off the bat <laughs> i i galaxy I, brain I, 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 I guess i never made the connection with like a b c and d like uh, it it just right, it just okay. occurred it okay. just occurred to me like oh yeah i was because i was trying to think of like what would be the name of the of the the battle mage successor oh yeah. clever, clever girl well when i think about something like this in all seriousness like the what is it the 7600 uh the recent one from amd and yes. uh, we got like the 4060 yeah if I'm like, hey, Neil's are those are really great options. Maybe I'm gonna take a little gamble on this uh, Intel Arc thing, and you're getting ready to pick this up. Even if you were thinking about getting like the 750, like, ooh, Intel's just uh, taking off their flagship card, and they're not gonna make it anymore. Like, you know what? Maybe I'm just gonna get one of these AMD or Nvidia cards. Like, this is what consumers are gonna think, mm-hmm. especially with like this type of notice of like, it's just gone. Well, was it not gone yesterday? Yes, today gone. And and this this is coming hot off the heels of like Intel Intel releasing that like media card that everyone was like really excited about, yes. like the A sixties. Everyone mm. really liked the A sixties because one hundred and thirty dollars for effectively an an A three eighty. Yep, that's just cheaper and single slot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, people like that. Go figure. <laughs> it, 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 things are things are changing at Intel. They announced earlier this week that they're going to be spending off their uh, fab 
to mm. where it has to post margins uh, against uh, Intel itself. Like, hold on, you know, we all want to believe we desperately again need player three, and yeah. Intel is the only hope. Therefore, it's the best hope. So keep mm-hmm. that in mind. Now for something completely different. Enough of this. <laughs> Let's talk about the forty sixty. <laughs> oh, okay. Kind of different. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Not, no. Not there were some much, leaks. Though. Uh, some Geek Bench Six leaks because yeah, if it's not Ashes of the Singularity, it's probably Geek Bench that's going to leak the hot new thing that's coming out. Although this one isn't particularly hot, it's the forty sixty. Uh, the uh, it comes in between the thirty sixty Ti and the seventy six hundred. Uh, on the Vulcan API, in between the thirty sixty Ti and the thirty sixty on the OpenCL API. So it's yeah, it it it's not surprising it's 300 bucks uh according to nvidia's um official announcement they were going to start at 299 for some truly truly last gen performance uh when the 3050 came out that was sort of like okay the 3050 was matching the performance of the 1080 in a bunch of games the 1080 was faster in some slower in others but they kind of traded blows which sort of justified the msrp now they're releasing a what is effectively a 3060 super for thirty dollars under the MSRP that the 3060 came out at because that was a three hundred and thirty dollar MSRP card which it never sold at that because GPU apocalypse during the pandemic. But it it's not the worst, all things considered. But yeah, you're better off just buying the. I previous uh, literally anything else <laughs> yeah no just buy the previous uh like the 36 cti even if you buy one brand new you can get it cheaper send, send, send a message to nvidia that like <laughs> no you actually have to like give us value they, i think they are i mean we were talking about that yeah. last week they really have nvidia has done a number shift you know this is you need to think of this as the 4050 mm-hmm. and yeah. they have the 4050 ti that's going to be coming out and it's about as terabyte as I was expecting. I had no hopes of the 4060 doing anything crazy. 17 to 18% in rasterization performance over a 3060. I have a 3060 right now. That doesn't sell me on anything. Hey, but then it's $100 cheaper. And well, you already you already have the thing, right? Like- <laughs> I already got the 3060. I was like, what do you want, AV1 encoding? You know, I don't need that right now. If I needed that right now, maybe I could do some mental gymnastics, but it would still be a hard damn sell. And here's another thing. It's limited to eight lanes in PCI Express 4.0. Maybe not a big deal, but you're thinking about this. This is a 4060. You're probably going to find these in more PCI Express 3.0 motherboards than you are 4.0. So that could mm-hmm. be a problem. Something you need to keep in mind. And again, again, this thing, this thing's getting its head danced on by 3060 Ti, which we've covered each and every week for the past couple of weeks that you can get for under 300 bucks all day long on the used market. Mm, I just remember one of these 60 series, even when I bought the um. 3060. When about the 3060, would at least they would pretend, you know, within margin, within like less than 10%, match the previous generation's 70 series. So let this be very clear to you that this is a 4050. <laughs> it is not a 4060. It's not anywhere. Uh, it's, it's like the the, the, the the TI is like the real 4060. Yeah. Every, bump everything up by like a fucking level. It's uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And there's this uh, not as significant because they pulled the numbers from the 4060 Ti all the way down to the 2060 for Geekbench 6. And you can see the jump of the 4060 Ti over the 3060 Ti is significant. This, this isn't really helping your case. Yeah, <laughs> at a 107, I mean, you know, we are seeing price drops from NVIDIA. And plus, we're also dealing with a shaky ass economy right now. But mm-hmm. we got to think. Like the only thing that would even be remotely interesting would be the 4060 Ti with 16 gigs at 399. Because at 499, I'm not feeling it. Not at that performance level. So you, you give me a 16 gig 4060 Ti, $100 less than what you're asking for, it, then we can talk. But outside of that, 300 bucks for a 4060. I mean, you know what? If you're dealing with that low level of performance, you might as well just get one of those hundred and eighty dollar Intel cards we were talking about last week. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just stick with an APU until something better comes down the pipe because this ain't the something better you've been waiting on. 
if you want like cheap performance at this point yeah the 3060 ti get a used one they're very cheap uh if you don't want to buy a used one or you know for a fact that they're probably have been mined on uh this uh, the rx 6600 is you can get those at least here for well under 200 pounds and they will outperform anything else at that price range so yeah <laughs> Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, got some bad news for you. Get, a get the bagpipes out. out. That's right. Get us an <laughs> amazing grace for SDL. Yes, because SDL 2.280 is out. And this is the final release of SDL 2. After this, it is going into maintenance mode because they want to shift all of their efforts over to SDL 3. Uh, and... I mean, the, the the main differences between SDL2 and SDL3 we haven't really got into. I'm not super aware of them, but they're, um, my, my understanding is it's more just continuation of the SDL2 work, just in, in under a new name. Uh, but they're also working on SDL2 Compat so that um, SDL2 stuff uh, will run with SDL3 on the back end, which is also going to be really nice because now you can have a drop-in replacement. And now, uh, and I think also that means that SDL1 uh, uh, Compat will also bring your SDL 1.2 apps up to SDL 3 on the back end so that it doesn't just shut off random monitors when you try to play a game. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, hey, backwards compatibility. <laughs> hey. it's, it's, it's very good to have. Very good. Yeah, it, with, especially from SDL. To resort you know? to game scope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome to the gaming show that actually talks about SDL. I mean, you're, 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 with, you're with the right people. You're people. Uh, so the, really the only thing I, I saw um, Ryan... Uh, talking about SDL3 earlier this week and I couldn't help and like I don't know man I don't know the 2.0 uh, getting depreciated because we're we're already starting to see some code bloat in uh, SDL3 audio subsystem because look at all those extra A's in there you know how much space we can save we, we, we can get everything across <laughs> everything you need to say Ryan well like three A's maximum that'll work just the same uh -huh. but but have you considered brains <laughs> just just tighten that up a little bit <laughs> I'm gonna get an angry email Monday Send uh, more paramedics. <laughs> ALVR sounds like something you get a license from the government for, doesn't it? I was thinking more like Alver and the Chipmunks. Alver but, and the, Chipmunks. Uh, the Canadian version, Alver. Al, yeah, Al, Al, Alver and the Chipmunks, except it's in the Matrix. Yeah, this is uh, a ALVR. It's, it's a fork of another project called ALVR. And it is for running VR content from your PC on your standalone VR device. If you have like an Oculus Quest or um, one of the one of the HTC headsets, um, they um, one of they the non Steam own, Vives. Yeah, yes. one of the non Steam <laughs> Vives. They have their own like software. It all runs on Android on the back end. But if you want to use it with your PC, you can use ALVR. Uh, uses uh, um, I believe it uses uh, Lightpipe on the back end, uh, but. Uh, you can, uh, you can, it's at the moment, it supports the Quest 1, 2 Pro, the Pico 4, and the Neo 3, the Vive Focus X, and the XR. Focus I like that they even give a Windows 7 XP a shout out just to say, fuck uh, off. Nope, <laughs> don't, 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 don't try it. Uh, one neat thing, this is done in Rust. Uh, there's an app image as well, although the, uh, the guys say Linux support is very, very early. So the, so the stuff you're going to get in the app image may not work. You may need to build this yourself, which means setting up the Rust build environment. They do have a new release out where they fixed the firewall script for Linux. So it will actually inject the firewall <laughs> rules necessary. Yeah. And so the thing will actually fucking work. Pedro, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, uh, you have been experimenting with your ready player one cosplay Mm -hmm. how, how you you tried this out how how this work i did and i've uh, i actually used the previous version version 20 um it was it wasn't good uh it, people have been reporting a lot of success if you have an nvidia card and you've been streaming because that's what it does it just streams over to the headset um with nvidia it seems to work a lot better and with this version the image corruption on amd is actually fixed Thank you. It, it it's remotely usable now. It, the bit rate is still way but too low. Don't you feel that AMD takes card? like some of the uh, like steampunk cyberdeck stuff out of it? Because every time you get like the VR uh, anime and stuff like that, it's always glitchy and shit, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the, that was very much the case before this uh, version released. But no, this one uh, it they did in fact uh, like the jitteriness when you're streaming, even when you're just sitting in the Steam VR like little house lobby that it has. 
even if you weren't moving your head, it would still every now and then just f everything would flicker and the bitrate would need to readjust. And the bitrate is really, really low, so everything is really artifacty and pixely. So yeah, it's 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 improving though. It it is ser it, they're doing a heck of a good job considering that Facebook's never going to make that Quest Two that's back there. They're never going to make that compatible with Linux with any. Uh, Dude, my my, my <laughs> they're 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 cutting down. My uh my cousin's wife or my cousin's husband rather. Um, he was working with uh, Meta at the VR, um, in their VR d d division, and their, their shit's getting axed, man. Like it's it's not it's not good. They they, yeah. they moved they moved to California, and now they have to move back to Israel. Like, so thank you, genuinely thank you to the AL, AL, ALVR people. I don't know what kind of work God would do, but you're doing it. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> <laughs> we're 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 we're, get, we're getting closer to that sword art online reality where you, we can mm -hmm. finally enter a romantic relationship with. I think it's his sister. Is that is <laughs> yes, that is just that get twist? our own harem of uh, anime girls, B blood relatives? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> sword, sword Arkansas online. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm good at this. Remain blissfully ignorant on that shit. So let's talk about the Discord store. Question mark? No, this is not the first time. Discord used to have a story. Remember when Discord sold yes. video games? <laughs> it sold video Brief, games, yeah. Briefly for like nine months. <laughs> I had to bring that up to someone. They're like, wait, what? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you could go to the Discord Discord store, buy some video games, and play it with a Discord over, which had Linux support, strangely enough. The overlay did, not the store. Yeah, the, um, the, none of the games had Linux support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Discord is opening the monetization floodgates, so get ready for those microtransactions. Woo! And paid exclusive memes? What the fuck is an exclusive meme? Fair fucking question, one might say. One might say. So, uh, I, I read through this. This comes from PCGamer.com. Go check out our show notes after the fact. All this is going to be in there. So, media channels. That's the new thing that's coming. What are they? What are they? Describe subscriber-only content for memes and wallpapers. Like, they're going to have tier templates, which is like subscription tiers with prices, you know, just what you would expect for that. And it's downloadables. Like pa Patreon, via yeah, Discord. Right? Yeah. The yeah. Templates mm -hmm. for them. One time purchase purchasable digital products for your subscriptions and server owners and all that. Then they're going to have server shops. And that's where we get to this a single home server for uh, server owners to sell subscriptions and downloadables mm -hmm. and premium roles you can buy your way to the top <laughs> yeah because pay, 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 you know you want to be in a channel where people can pay to be mods right that Dude, that's yes. uh, oh, that, 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 that is very a much to look ensure to. that the, the the community moderation is the best quality one um i don't know man so uh my first thought is like th this is terrible but also followed by like we we don't use any of this stuff to begin with so yeah and it's like so it, like it's we're the, old the, the, we look at this yeah, the, like the, it's the, a the chat long, program will you do the chats in it the, the long march to unshitification continues and like yeah i'm, I'm kind of with you as long as like they're not breaking regular chat things will be fine for the interim but tech companies are being extra fucking stupid these days more mm -hmm. stupid than usual and boneheaded decisions left and right um Venture capital's uh, drying up, man. They got to turn yeah. profit. They got to justify their existence. Absolutely. Like there's, <sighs> you know what? What I look AI, forward to. That's what you need. Discord. Discord AI. <laughs> then you'll get more money. Then you can well, well, so so that's the thing. If all the users are AI, then you can inflate the numbers, and mm -hmm. it looks like it's busy, but but it's not. Dude, I read a great article. The people being paid to train AI were using AI. Yeah. To feedback well, the. Yeah, the, well, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. A, a lot. Like, but that, that's that's the thing about a lot of this AI stuff is there's still a shit ton of human intervention, and a lot of it is just like basically digital sweatshops. Like, but uh, back back to back to Discord though. Like, yeah, I I don't know. They, they they've they've tried monetization before. I guess like when they were charging for like better audio quality and like stream quality and Those stuff are still like things. that. Things. Yeah, you, but you like get better but, with like, nitro. But that, but that makes sense, right? Like this, yeah. this is this is this is stuff that like directly improves the experience of Discord as a platform without harming the lower levels. But it's it's like it's like who it's like Netflix introducing an ad tier or something, right? Where like Which once they, you start, they're they're thinking that, about doing yeah. yeah. They but have. like they of oh, that they have yeah. now. Oh, oh great, yeah. The lowest right. tier is uh, ad funded. Yes. 
<laughs> Remember, what was the point of Netflix again, you guys? Uh, you can pay more. Oh, what was not the point? Get, <laughs> get off my lawn. It was because they send me DVDs. If I pressed a right. button on a computer, it was neat as hell. Right, yeah, you didn't, you, the whole point was not they had to watch Cowboy Bebop. Yep. Um, uh, I, I'm genuinely looking forward to the inception levels of uh, Discord piracy of all those exclusive memes on Discord. Like, what, just what people is, sharing that, that what, what stuff. Is, well, <laughs> I mean, you, 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 you gotta think, like, if you have, like, your, your uh, emoticons or whatever, they, they'd have to do some type of, like, content ID for them, right? Because mm -hmm. if I see if I see a funny <laughs> thing, I'm like, me because like look at our discord like our list of stuff that, that's just me and fucking gimp man like <laughs> yeah you know. and, and and they already have like um server restricted emojis and shit like that right, right. so yes yeah you need like nitro if you want to use like our stuff on other on server. server i don't yeah. have control of that that's like you mm -hmm. one of the discords but then again that doesn't bother me as long as you, as long as that has like you know chat audio video i'm good with but you know to the younger generation this shit might be their you know equivalent it's like we want more of that. I have no idea. Every time I see this, to Jordan's point, is can we dial down like the exponential growth cycle with things like things that always got to be more, got to be bigger, got to be better, better in air quotes around that. It's usually just more till it butters out. And like, why can't more companies? I was thinking about this. This applies to fucking Reddit too. I was having this conversation earlier this week. What if Reddit had hit and just been more like fucking Craigslist, man? Like Craig. Fucking Craig, right? Where yes. he, he gets Steady to a growth. point and he's like, "Hey, we're good. We're good now. Like this, this is all we need to sustain ourselves. Let's what, uh, what, not go what, crazy what, with it." When the obligation though is not to provide a service, but to provide value to shareholders, though, mm -hmm. like the 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 ultimate goal isn't to provide something that's useful to us. The ultimate goal is to separate us from our money. So. Yeah, you're uh, not providing a service. Yeah. You're providing value. Yeah. And if you're not providing value, you get ditched. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Like the the Reddit protests, they fizzled out. Like I'm I'm disappointed in that. Like, oh, they got scared. Uh, well, I yeah. well mean, the, the, the the mods got threatened with their precious power, yeah. and they're like, oh, it's no, like we don't uh, want to lose we'll, our we'll, moderation status. Uh, it's uh, I mean, it's revival, man. I mean, it's like is a shark evil because it eats things? No, it's just got to keep moving and eating to stay alive. Like that's the entity of like venture capital funded or you know publicly traded companies it's it's what it's got to do what the mechanism is that's what i'm saying like at some point like with this fucking show on a very small level like i don't want to fucking build out a studio and end up with like all this other bullshit you got to worry about just like keep it small single focus mm -hmm. simple it's not pretty it's not great we're never going to go hollywood and never be mainstream but there it is like slash dot held onto that for a long fucking time mm -hmm. reddit for a while then they got sold to Condé uh, Condé Nast. Nast. And then mm -hmm. Condé Nast got absorbed by some other thing. Um, Hacker News has managed to keep that balance. You know, I, I remember when we heard when we uh, first heard Patri about Patreon was trying to pull this shit a couple years ago too, right? Like Pay Jack's fighting for that shit though. Jack has left fucking money from <laughs> investors because he's not gonna fucking have it now. He's taking fucking money, but Patreon's managed to hold that balance. It's better than I thought it would as far they, as they, they, they still, they still, yeah, cer certainly better now, but like they still have to ax all the adult content to do that. And that we went yeah, over that. That's, that's fucking that's payment PayPal process. and yeah. MasterCard yeah. and the, the other. That's, <sighs> uh, I don't know, man. Um, I, I would like to see something, you know, there's always IRC, but there's always matrix. I, I would like to have, uh, I think it's just recently with all these combos of like, we're seeing things you know it's time to be evil from too many places well the, the, that was it was it was the web 2.0 thing of like well we're, we're gonna we're gonna take away the barrier for entry everyone can have a website everyone can have a blog everyone can like log on to these centralized services but when those services start getting crappy you're like well we kind of want to go to the back to the defederated forums and irc channels that weren't that weren't under under that purview they they weren't explicitly profit driven they were just trying to stay up stay afloat mm-hmm mm -hmm. And we do think about, remember when we first talked about uh, humble layoffs and mm -hmm. they laid off something like 70 people, to which I think all of us went, how, how, how are 70 people working at Humble? You know, there's, do, you, do, you, do you follow the line of thought there? Like that, that smells of like inefficiency or over hiring. 
Yeah, the, 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 I mean, they, this, this, this is tech. There are a lot of people in management who should not be in management. There are people yeah. with management degrees, but it turns out that those management degrees don't actually teach you anything useful. So and, hey, I can a lot of a tech companies are very top heavy. There's a lot of people in directorial and managerial positions uh, and not a lot of people in the not actual, a lot of you know, yeah, not, a lot, of not a lot of people actually doing the work. So you start culling. Top well, well. The so the, 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 the problem though is that the, that the, that top is sturdy. That bottom is an ever shifting like base of engineers who are getting overworked and burned out. That is, yeah, that is the, the cycle. That, right? That's the turnover. Yeah. <laughs> that, that that's that's the rollover. Like, and as some as someone in industry, it's it's a big fucking problem. Stuff that mm-hmm. stuff just can't get done because people it's, people are. I yeah, guess I'm always are, fascinated by like what a small team can pull off you know even competing against like giant uh pedro you're aware of uh, uh apogee right yes <laughs> audio interface makers right mm-hmm. pretty big ass company right i would think i'm not sure <laughs> well the the lady who founded it uh she still has 30 employees that's the entirety okay. of apogee <laughs> and, yeah that's not terribly big <laughs> and they dance toe to toe every fucking day <laughs> with multi-billion dollar fucking um audio industry shit like there's something to be said about a small nimble oh yeah no, it's, keeping it's, it together team as a like the we got to do everything you know even a, like what was it firefox mozilla having an office in paris yeah m- 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 mozilla having mozilla offices some, uh, in all major capitals yeah, <laughs> yeah the, 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 the the toronto office yeah they're they're M- mozilla i think mozilla was really riding, riding high and then google chrome came about and they're like oh I don't know if you have any thoughts. We're not going to fix this in this segment. Maybe we'll fix it in another segment later on in like three minutes. We'll we'll fix it immediately afterwards. So world hunger. Once we're done knocking that out next week, we'll we'll go ahead and revisit this. But leave us a comment on the YouTube video or send one in to the eight mail segment, which is coming up next. Speaking of up next, eight mail. Like you said, I don't know. Nailed it. You can tell it's the hate mail. Well, I can tell it's the hate mail because the birds are chirping outside. Bird, bird. So, uh, yeah. The birds the, the, are singing. The sun is shining. So much The hate. sun is certainly coming up Lightning's by this crashing. time. <laughs> so Thunderbolts if, and lightning. Very, very frightening. Eep. Eep, eep. <laughs> um, Galileo Figaro. Uh, anyway, if you'd like to let us Hi, know until... DMCA. Wh- DMCA. <laughs> it's fun to stay at the DMCA. <laughs> We'd like to let us know uh, just how late you stay up listening to this or the fully unedited version. Uh, please do so. Go to linuxgamecast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form. You can also leave us a comment on said uh, four or five hour long uh, video on YouTube once it shows up on the um, Is that live and going to stab that penguin? I don't hey, know. Man, I thought watch, that was a good screen find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's game we played. Me and Jordan and Mir. It's- Myth Force, go check it out. Yeah, contact and, and and Joel, whoever Joel was. And Joel popped in for the last minute. Uh, uh, I've updated some things. If you got some questions, hints, allegations, things left unsaid. If you want to come on the show, you want to be on this show, you want to talk about your game, some project you're working on. If you want to be on Weekly Daily Wednesdays, tell us about your open source project. Do it again. If you get a crowdfunding campaign, make sure you got something working on Linux that we can get our hands and our pinky toes on. And of course, uh, Spam Golem will curb check you. If you try to send us a press release, so there is an email address that, aha, you can't copy and paste because I'm a dick. <laughs> so you put a picture? How dare Oops. you? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I mean, the, the bots can OCR now. There's no I know escape. they can. I know. Yeah. I, I'm just, I, I, I just, here, I'm just like, work for it. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 if, if you can get through it, you deserve it. Right. Um, Coming up first is something, so we got this as a YouTube comment, and uh, this is from Yummy Bear Blue, which is, is always a little heartfelt love when we see somebody. It's like, I'm new. It's like, I just discovered you guys. Keep up the great work, exclamation point. Love the vibe between you guys, to which I'll say, fuck both y'all. Vibes <laughs> like a Hitachi magic wand. Squirt, squirt. <laughs> vibe. I don't know. I, I, I'm just kind of here. Sometimes I'm not even paying attention half the time, so all right, I'll, I'll I mean, take it's it. better than when you didn't remember what you were doing. Yeah, the the, the blo- during the, the show, drunk. I remembered. It was the next day that I'm like, I don't remember doing like 
three quarters of the show. <laughs> you, you just black out and a podcast gets made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's autopilot, man. No, uh, well, I like the show. We just, we're just us. Um, not everybody's cup of chainsaw turns out, but hey, we say what we think. And that's kind of it. We're not sparkly. No, I'm sparkly. What are you? Yeah, you can be about? sparkly. We're we're just gonna cover you in glitter, and glitter, glitterati, sparkle face. Put some heat lamps on you. Yeah, it's gonna be the weirdest saw movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm, especially because yeah, I'm jigsaw. Like this, they're doing this to me. What am I doing to the other people? Sparkle jigsaw. You want to play a game? <laughs> I'm I'm a vampire now. Would you like to play a vampire game? Get away from me, sparkly jigsaw. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> There Edward, a, no! I'm, yes, call me Edward. <laughs> Put your hand in the bear trap, Bella. Free yourself. I'm not I Bella. I mean, that's basically Twilight. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to keep calling you Bella. It's like, I'm not Bella, I'm Sookie. Bella. <laughs> Bill, vampire Bill, that's the best you got. You, you wake up with like, one of those cheap cardboard mask cutouts. <laughs> This no. is like black, black and white on printer paper. Man. Oh yeah, I like even... no work's gotta do it whatsoever. <laughs> um, uh, if you're looking for something, uh, it, this is like kind of classic because it's over a decade old, old now. Is uh, roommates uh, with jigsaw? Mm. There was a oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah replaced yeah. all the toilet paper with duct tape. Like paper. <laughs> like, Come on, man, again? Yeah, you it, do the dishes? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, go. <laughs> Check it out. So apparently, um, you know, I I think I said anybody who uses like something other than WASD to control an FPS is just what they are. A serial I, killer. I, I, I brought this up because there was a there was a shooter we were talking about. I forget the name, but um, it was it was on itch and uh, yeah, it used ESDF. Mm -hmm. And I was like, come on, people, we've we've, we've settled this. But Bruce Manji uh, has uh, has different opinions. He says I play ESDF since. QWTF Quake World Team Fortress easier to find in the dark because of the nub on the F key. You okay. also have more. Mm -hmm. I've just confirmed I have a nub on my F key. Yes, yeah. the, uh, the F and the they J key do. have them. Taste of uh, shit, though. Yeah. You also <laughs> you also have more keys around the left hand to bind, and it works perfectly with 10 finger typing. Nowadays, I use a modified Belkin Stromo N52 TE, so I don't care about what keys the game uses. Smiley face. Footnote changed it to mechanical keys instead um, of, I guess, me membrane keys, or I, I, I don't know. What okay, the, I got the base model has. Is that a keyboard? I guess. Uh, um, it's one of those game no, it's not. Oh, it's, one of, it's, the, one, of, it's one of these yes, fuckers. Wait, okay. it's also a flamingo. It's also Fuck a printer yes. cartridge. <laughs> you can plug it into your printer and print things. <laughs> yeah, we, we get to see what this thing is. Yeah, this is the, the, the one handed keyboard. All right. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I, I mean, if yeah, if you have one of those, then yeah, you just bind whatever the fuck you want to. Even whatever as a left-handed person, as a left-handed person, I'm looking at that. It's like I'd, I'd rather have that for my right hand for some reason. I don't know. Mm. Uh, That's the thing. It, that wouldn't work on my right hand, and yeah, for if I was using one of those on my left hand, uh, it would leave me very, very um, limited. It's got RGBs <laughs> though, man. You can compensate for. <laughs> You can skills. get the razor one that's more expensive and it has more RGBs. Um, but no, it's so, so the, 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 this, this one is modified to be extra clicky. Okay. Mm -hmm. What the absolute hell? All right. Ah, I, I just are, wish are, are, more are games came with the uh, cursor keys bound by default, but that's I, just me. I'm disappointed <laughs> because I wanted to see what this N52 <laughs> thing is because this is like what of the controller, but. The mouse it, controller hybrid? What? It just goes back to this. Like oh. the Tartarus V2. That mm -hmm. at least has like a little Amy pad thing on it. Let's check it out. Alright. Uh it's got a scroll wheel. Uh it's, I mean Like I said, the Razor one has more blinkies. <laughs> but I mean, is it really worth the extra FPS? <laughs> So this is a whole category. I'm learning shit today, everybody. Yeah, the, the, these these one-handed gamer keyboards, I guess they're. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, get I, wrecked. I, this one's got a screen on the, it. It's $700. This one, yeah, the, the, yeah, seven hundred dollars. That's why. All I'm right, guessing hold, this hold, is hold, like hold, out of production. Hold, hold, what? What's do? Are there reviews? What? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, fine, what, fine, what, 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 fine. what are what are people saying about? What What does the one star review say? I play a lot of FPS on my PlayStation Four. 
Oh shit! Ah, so you were cheating? Uh, okay, right, uh, right on cheater. Oh <laughs> uh, man, uh, can, can, can we go? Well, his name's Shenanigans, so all right. Shenanigans, fair. 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 <laughs> My husband loves this gamepad. It's the second. That's one a of fake ass review. <laughs> yeah, his first three years won't be satisfied with any other. I'm very happy. Not even with me. I'm very, I'm very disappointed <laughs> in our marriage. Program. Oh, unserviceable gaming peripheral. Don't buy. So apparently, this thing's breaks. You get Rex. Rex on Win 10. Well, yeah, that's why you gotta use a uh, Win 11 or 13. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta use Lindos. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, I've never been in, you know, I've, I've absolutely, like, looked at, because those have been out forever, man. Like, the one-handed, mm -hmm. like, we're talking, like, mid-2000s. I remember the first time I saw one. I think it was built for, like, World of Warcraft or some shit like that. It was some blizzard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the, the, I, I remember there was one that had, like, different overlays as well. So mm. you could, like, uh, and, like, the games would have, like, support. But I think that may have also been, like, a full-size keyboard, I want to say. Okay. But they were, like, the, like, physical cards you would put over the keys that, like, had different different macros and shit. Oh. Yeah, the, the those all come with usually the extra buttons on the thumb area for the macros and whatnot. I guess, I guess I'll just stick with my, um, yeah, controller keyboard. I, that's just, like, no, too no, fancy see, for see, me, man. See, you, you gotta use the GameCube uh, WaveBird, the, the fucking, the, the long-ass controller keyboard. That's that's the real way to go about doing this. Oh, the, the, the PS3 um, prototype uh, controller? <laughs> no, it was, like, the, long. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the Batarang, you mean? No, I'm talking, yeah. I'm talking about the GameCube controller, the one with, like, the full keyboard for Fantasy Star. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> or the the keyboard attachment for the uh the Dreamcast controller. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still want a few of some uh Steam Deck controllers on the side of like an ultra wide forty two inch monitor. <laughs> oh, awesome. oh, oh like the oversized red and blue switch. Like, yeah, I, I want I want you to go like full anteater post after I can play the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It'll never happen. A boy can dream. Ladies and gentlemen, on that crushed fantasy, let's cue the music. Mm. You can always find this nightmare train pulling out of the station 830 right here on Twitch Live. Come join us. Hop on our Discord, hop on our Twitch now, hop in our IRC. Make sure you do it early because sometimes we might need to restart the bridge to chat to everyone. Social media, I does it occasionally. I'm still on the Twitters. Vin Stone, I'm over there. If you want to reply me, click on stars and shit, I'm down. Federated stuff. Mast.LinuxGameCast.com Dot com. If you're into Mastodon, I'm just at Vin on that little instance. Being my adorable little self. I'm Jordan. I'm here to crush all your fantasies. You can have me sit on you on That's Twitter at the Burning Fool or on Mastodon at Frojo at Mastodon or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. And you can at me on Twitter. That's at an account at 4 F O U R. Yeah, just did that. That's the one that I am. At any shade of active in you can also add me on discord now it's just unaccounted for with the actual number four at the end i suppose yeah. you can subscribe either. to him in discord yeah and get exclusive pedro memes i i'm gonna need to make my own server then yeah Ex exclusive teams do it, <laughs> do it. <laughs> bring me the 2fa i'll do it for you man come on <laughs> how about some credits ladies and gentlemen yeah Slop, slop, slop. It's like a bulldog eating manicons. <laughs> oh man, it's time for those credits to time. go off into space. I wonder if, like, one one point in the future, like millions of years from now, they're just going to collide into a planet and destroy them. We've got to thank our advisors, Omegas and Artharon, our executive producers, uh, Bob Ramp, Scott Michaud, Atomicast, Mike G, Drummer, Pebble, Tomas, Hakim, David, and Eship, and our little Nikki fans. Plenty of Chicago. Plenty uh, empty. of kicks, couple of asses. Uh, G-E-N Blasphemia. Got plenty of sea monsters as well. Let's see, we got no, we got Justin, DSN Joe, we got Oe, back in a Trudgy, Krylo, Nuda, some Death Notes. Dark I need some better space than those Death Notes. Dancing so. Joe, Ogi One, and Kyrillo. Yeah, Foxy, <laughs> Oil of Hope, Aromatic, Dev, Doom 2, Wad, Gamatron, Dodger. Dirty Dean, Stephen B, and Doom 2, And then we got all these cheerleaders. <laughs> These chairlings, they might be small, but they are like legion. North Ranger. Thank they you very much, North your Ranger. Ankles off. <laughs> and Ross Moata. And Belric. Uh, Belric? No, I think it's in Belric. Monica, Oil of Hope, I think it's Jim, the R and DLR. You know, I was an Asian Discord earlier. To yeah, Euthanasia. 
Yeah, he's giving me shit about something I don't remember about anymore. Baker was being helpful. That's what like struck me as odd. Ah, uh, that's, that's that very rare. Kind of jarring. Hey, Kai, I got you on the list, man. Only took three uh-huh, weeks. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Give his YouTube a plug. He, he deserves it. Uh, yes, it, Kai, he, yes, he sings. He makes music. He's a very talented person. You can yeah. find a link in the PreSonus yeah. 24 yeah. station video description. I don't know exactly. You need yeah, to get yeah, a custom yeah, yeah. RSL uh, or URL, my man. Do it. Because it's like yes. Google look up numbers. <laughs> yep. Bad for one. Ah. We'll see you next week. Five dudes. <laughs>